The Sky Harbor Airport is located in Duluth, Minnesota, and it's a unique airport in that it provides both a hard surface landing facility as well as a water-based landing facility on Lake Superior. The Duluth Sky Harbor Airport is located on Minnesota Point, the natural boundary uh, between Lake Superior and Superior Bay. There is the airport location, but it is surrounded by some unique natural features, one of those being the DNR Scientific and Natural Area that was put in place to protect a, a unique old growth forest in that it's growing on a sandbar. It is the only example of this type of old growth forest in the state of Minnesota and that kind of surrounds one end of the airport. So the existing runway at the airport is 3,050 feet long and 75 feet wide. The approach to each runway end is at a 20 to one slope. That airspace needs to be basically free and clear for aircraft to move around as they're approaching and departing a runway. In 2006, 2007, it was determined that there were some trees that had grown into that surface. So the airport, in order to maintain its Minnesota airport license, needed to provide a clear approach surface. The selected alternative shortens the runway to 2,600 feet and rotates it about five degrees into Superior Bay. It would be about a three-year construction process. The first year, uh, we, were, we were gonna go in and build a perimeter berm around the site and then go in from there and fill up to about the runway elevation. And then the following year, we would add what we call surcharge to create a buildable surface. And then the following year, we would come in and remove that surcharge and construct the runway. I think in the end, everybody, the, the state and the federal agencies, as well as the local public stakeholders, understood that filling into Lake Superior really was a better option in order to protect these very unique landside resources.